exercise as a daily medicine. So I've decided to uh, create a number of short videos addressing the role of ex physical exercise. Physical exercise, exercise training is one of the pillars of health, well-being, performance, success. Uh, I already discussed, you know, some uh, concept about what is a healthy diet, and in future videos, time permitting, I will also address some other important uh, pillars of healthy longevity. But in this series of short videos, I'm going to focus on physical exercise. Well, we knew uh, that exercise is very important for health. You know, 2000 years ago, the, the father of medicine, Hippocrates, uh, said, if we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. Since then, of course, we made major advancements in the understanding of how exercise is uh, activating a number of metabolic and molecular uh, pathways. Uh, so basically the the exercising muscle and heart and lungs are producing uh, myokines, cytokines, so molecules that are influencing some of the most important organs in our body. So the brain, the heart, the liver, adipose tissue, gut, and vascular system. So uh, in the next uh, videos, I'm going to address some of these uh, knowledge. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, exercise, uh, so how much do we need every week. We are going to discuss about the risk of uh, sitting, excessive sitting. Uh, we're going to answer to a, an important question, does exercise help to lose weight? Uh, we're going to discuss about uh, exercise and mitochondrial biogenesis, uh, how exercise is slowing aging, uh, the importance of exercise in preventing diabetes uh, and improving insulin sensitivity, uh, the acute effects of exercise and why it's important to exercise regularly. Uh, and uh, how exercise is protecting uh, the health of our heart and brain. And, um, and then we're going to discuss about what is the best way to exercise to burn fat and lose weight. Uh, also, what we should eat before, during and after exercise. And Another extremely important topic is what are the risks of too much exercise? 10 signs you are exercising too much. Then we are going to talk about the benefits of strength and weight training. And most importantly, the importance of good posture and, and uh, of core strengthening, because this is essential for any type of exercise. Otherwise, we're going to end up in damaging our body and uh, our joints and uh, the role of uh, balancing uh, agonistic and antagonistic muscle. And then in the future, I'm going to do some more specialized talks, uh, videos, short videos um, on other important topics. Uh, now, what is my expertise? You're asking, what is, what is my expertise? Uh, in this field, well, first, first of all, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, an MD, a doctor specialized in internal medicine and metabolism. Have been working for 35, 40 years. I've published 140 
scientific publications in high impact factor journal, Nature, Science, Cell, Cell Metabolism, PNS, and New England of Medicine, JAMA. And 35 of these 140 publications are on uh, the effects of exercise on metabolic health, molecular health. Uh, uh, these publications are uh, the results of two randomized clinical trials on, on, on diet and exercise uh, and uh, many studies that I have conducted when I was uh, the co-director of the longevity program at Washington University in St. Louis in US on master athletes. Uh, I have presented this data and basically discussed this data with uh, many colleagues in uh, uh, many important university and institutes and meetings around the world. But most importantly, I had the honor to work and learn from John Holodzy. So John Holodzy, this great man who died a few years ago, was my mentor, my friend, my, you know, research partner. We were, again, you know, the co-directors of the longevity program at Washington University. He was, as you can see here, awarded the gold medal at the 2000 Olympic Games Sydney, in Sydney, Olympic Games in Sydney, as a recognition for, for his discovering in uh, exercise physiology, sport medicine, and the role of exercise in preventing many chronic diseases. So uh, gold medal and half a million dollar prize. And so again, as I said, I had the pleasure to work and absorb so much knowledge from this man, this pioneer who has published some of the most important uh, uh, papers in uh, exercise physiology, mitochondrial biogenesis, GLUT4, and many other concepts that you know I'm going to share with you in these videos. And um, so, let's start. You know this 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 video uh, by 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 uh, addressing an important concept. So, why exercise is so important. Have you ever asked why exercise is so important? Well, the simple reason is that for many, many, many centuries, human beings have evolved in a context where vigorous physical activity was a, a must. So there were no cars, no elevators, nothing. So people, they had to work hard to do everything in their lives. So our genes, our cells, our biochemistry and physiology has been designed to function optimally only when we exercise. So this is basically an example of how human beings were, you know, living and some are still living like that or, you know, until probably 100, 150 years ago, this was the condition. There were no, no tractors, nothing. And uh, these are examples of, and uh, now uh, in the last 50, 70 years, we went from those conditions to these conditions where many people in developing countries, they are basically doing very little or no exercise. And, uh, and then, you know, even in children, we have an epidemic of a sedentary lifestyle, hours and hours of uh, watching TV, video games, playing on, you know, iPhones and uh, Playstations. And so this is a, a major, major problem. And, um, and for today, for, for now, this is, this is it. This is the first video, the introductory video. And um, uh, I'm gonna follow with other important uh, videos and take home messages, some pills that you can bring home that are important to understand why exercise is medicine. Thank you for listening.